Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go over to 2-3 and play hey -o! Yeah, that's the name of the level. You'll see why it is when we get into this here. Oh, jeez! Mo, how did you do that? I didn't know you could dig. And oh no, there he is. The hot spring snapper. Run away! Don't let it attack you! Ah! And we're in a pit. Oh, pain. Oh, Alright, Mo. That hot spring snapper's got it out for us, stuff. What do we do? Uh, okay, wait. Ah, cool. There's someone right over there. Let me do the talking. Alright, let's do so. Hey there. It's the boss. Hey, yo! Hey, oh, I mean, hey, yo. Come on, kid. You'll never make it in the business with that attitude. Sound off like you mean it. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> Big letters. There you go. You're doing. You're going. You're gonna go far with that kind of moxie, kid. You were born for show business. Thanks, pal. But I'm not into show business. Have you seen any shards like this? Everyone's in the show business. I'm boss, manager of the squirts. Don't you want to be famous, kid? What? Well, sure. I mean, yeah. You really think I could be famous? Of course I do, kid. That's what I do. I know talent when I see it, and when I look at you, I see talent. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, I always saw you had talent. You leave the thinking to me, kid. We'll make you huge. Now, what were you saying about a shard? All right, we're looking for these shards to get our buddy's memory back. He's got amnesia. Amnesia, huh? Never seen it. Heard it was big though, not as big as Hot Spring Snapper. Wait, you can't see Amnesia, I don't forget it. <laughs> the squirts are supposed to do a show with that guy. Yeah, didn't work out so well. They got knocked all around, Hotra Springs. You think you could track down the squirts for me? You do that, and we can help you with your shard dumb jigs and get your career jump start. Sure! Starfree needs an excuse to protect practice his glide ability, right Starf? Right? Uh, Starfy has no clue what Mo was talking about. Don't tell me you forgot how to glide! Sheesh, you got salt water in your noggin. Fine, I'll put it on the ability screen, so check it out. What are we gonna do with you, Starf? Sheesh, next thing you know, this kid will forget how to swim. Yep, Starfy even forgets his own moves, he's so forgetful. And that is the glide move, which will allow us to get to places that we couldn't before. But we can't get that chest back in 2-2 uh, just yet, just with this move alone, so... Let's move on and see... Don't come back to find... I mean, don't come back to find those squirts. And learn to juggle, too. Everyone loves juggling. That glide ability is old hat the scarf. He was just kidding. Psst, check your ability screen scarf. <laughs> So yeah, we already seen the ability screen, so let's just move on ahead and wait, 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 actually, hold on. I think this is the way back. Uh, yeah, this is going to be where we're going to come back through. So that's for later. Woo! Oh, wait, wait, I got to go down first before I can uh, move on a little bit further. Destroy block formations. They're alive. They're alive. I'm dizzy. Oh, dang it. I always try to kill you guys before you do that move, and not let you do that move because of my incompetence of terrible spin timing. But yeah, I want to go down here first because I gotta get this. This, this otherwise um, is sort of like a trap area. You know, it's like a you gotta go back to the start if you fall down there. Anyway, let's read the Squirt Handbook of Rules and Regulations. Rule one: the code word has to be said with gusto. Hey yo! You ne never fall asleep on a punchline. If you do, someone will steal your joke. Well, I, I guess that's a possibility. Gotta always look out for those opportunities. Anyway, moving on to the upper path now. Woo! So nice to be able to glide, because now I'll be able to easily get stuff in the trees like that, as well as other stuff. Uh, being able to glide also allows you to ha have a lot more control as to where you're fall falling, so that's also a bonus. Do you really think these squirts can help us find another shard? I hope old man Labo is right. He said that they were mysterious and funky fellers. That, is, that isn't much to go on. I certainly hope we will recognize them when we find them. Oh, I'm pretty sure we will. Oh, geez, Golberto. Do you have anything new to say? Um, ah, so it is Starfy, the many pointed master of deep sea adventure. No thanks. So you did have something new to say this time. Delightful. And now, as you can tell, Save points are becoming more and more spaced out on the map there, so just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, oh! It's back! The hot spring snapper! Roar! You! You! Trespasser! Trespasser! No! Now we're not, so we're just here looking for a shard! No! Trust me, we're not here to do anything bad! Duh! Get in the water, Starfy! It's your element! There we go! Just dodge the boulders. Well, you can touch the boulders, but don't let them push you to the bottom of the screen. So, technically, you are safest at the top of the screen, because there is, isn't anything going to be, uh... I mean, you'll be able to react and go around the boulders in time before they reach the bottom, then. So just keep watching the top of the screen, keep staying at the top of the screen. I'm gonna guess that... Nope, no opening there. Where is the next opening up? There it is. I'm gonna switch to this side, because based on pattern recognition... Oh, yeah! Oh, I think we're done. Yep, we're done. And we're out! Another save point. <laughs> just as when I said they were um, using less save points, there's another save point. Um, same dialogue. Globerto, you are incredibly boring. <laughs> Ooh, squirt. Squirt number two, to be exact. Whoa, was that a turtle? Or a tortoise? What's the difference? Hey, that reminds me of a joke. What kind of machine do turtles like to fly in? Uh, shell helicopter. Yeah, try that, shrimp folks. I'll be here all week. Uh, 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 won't be? Oh, boss sent you. Oh, great. The rest of the squirts are right up ahead. That that joke was kind of embarrassing. I don't think you're going to make it in showbiz. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. And that's the door back. Oh, no. No. How did, you, how did you manage to even get stuck on that thing, of all things? Oh, I see. You're sleeping there. Still, how did you manage to get stuck in there? Oh, how long was I asleep? <laughs> hey, you heard that joke about the man you slept for? Mm. <sighs> okay, I'll leave him to sleep. He's free, he's good to go, so let's go find the other squirts. Uh-oh. How? Why? How do you guys get in there? Thanks! Hey, what do a tree and a squid both have in common? They're both... Hey, where are you going? <laughs> where I'm out of here. And... Here's the last one. Boop! Needless to say, none of them will be able to get their jokes out except for that first one. Because <laughs> Starfy runs away before he, they finish. We got all four, 40 tentacles together again. Hey, how many squids does it take to screw in a light bulb? One tenth of one! Hey, oh, thank you for the squirts. Oh, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, do you have anything else to say? Um, yeah, nope, same thing. So I'm skipping your dialogue and I'm going through the door. And here we are on the path back. All the squirts are together! Yay! You ten armed slackers! Where were you? I was worried slick. We've got shows to do. Don't be mad at us, boss. Well, what could we do? That turtle. We didn't stand a chance against them. So I guess the snapper put him in the tree. But what did he hook them onto in the tree? They're, they're squids. They're slimy and soft and... Oh, never mind. Well, it w if it would have been funny, that uh, that hot spring snapper wouldn't have had a chance against you. Maybe he has a point against... Um, a point. I mean, they weren't all that funny and some good comedy could distract them. <laughs> You got a sec to tell us how to deal with that hot springs with deal with this hot spring snapper character? He's been causing trouble everywhere. He's scaring all the tourists out of Hotcha Springs. You're sure it's the hot spring snapper and not the bad comedy? <laughs> oh, boss, boss, we got a new joke. Okay, okay, ready. What do one crystal shard say to the other crystal shard? Wait, I wrote that joke. I should tell it. Okay, what do one crystal shard say to the other crystal shard? No, nothing. It's a crystal shard. Ew! I just wrote that joke. It's great. Oh, they're taking all credit for them. <laughs> Wait a sec. Have you got? <clears throat> have you actually seen a crystal shard around here? Yep. And now they won't stop with the shard jokes. Not sure if people want to hear that though. I got another one. What's the difference between a crystal shard and hot spring snapper's belly? One is. One is hard and the other is... Don't ever fall asleep on a punchline if you want to be a star! 
This guy's a true star. He knows what I'm saying. Stick with me and we'll get to Hot Spring Snapper. I'll make you a star, kid. An even bigger one. But I'm already a star fish. Oh, forget it. Hey -ho! And now they carve the way back up to the top. Woo! Alright, uh, what you're, what you're gonna wanna do is follow this path up, and you'll see that there's a treasure chest. Well, rather than gliding to the other side where that door is, go off to the left side. Oh! I failed. <laughs> well, you see what you have to do there. I just was a little bit off timing on my spin. Let's try that again. Whoop, there we go. Voila. I got some western wear. Yeehaw! And back up we go. Through the land of the fearsome beast. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, let's glide over there because we can now go through the door and finish this level. Uh oh. Earthquakes. This can't be good. It's gotta be the hot spring snappers doing. Same concept here, really. Just stay at the top of the screen and uh, dodge the boulders as they come back down. So, have some fun with this. Not all that difficult. You can't really take damage from them unless you go, or unless you push all the way to the bottom of the screen. So yeah, I'm just gonna zigzag left and right if you don't mind. Whoa! I should go to the other side. Probably this side too. Oh, oh maybe not. Oh, oh, ooh, staircase pattern. I don't know. Ooh, not gonna get me. No, sorry. This is why you want to stay at the top of the screen so you can react to things as fast as you possibly can. Up, oh, we're done. Woo! Yay! Woo! And I see that door down there. You can't trick me. Where does this door lead to anyway? Uh, ooh. Do I want to go through here now? I think I do. Oh, oh, oh! New enemy. I just... I keep killing new enemies before I get to introduce them. That's known as Glunk. It shoots out little spiky shuriken star thingies there, I guess you could say. That was an incredibly well-described uh, version of its attack. <laughs> oh, there's nothing down here. So back up I go. I can take the high routes. I took the low road, and now I'm taking the high road. So there's no, you take the high road, I take the low road sort of thing. I take both roads, baby. Oh yeah. Alright, get up there. <laughs> and now I gotta clear the way. Can I kill that last? I could probably fit between. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not as chunky as it looks. Oh, there's Mo. Wait, am I supposed to be through here? Maybe I, ooh. Maybe I took the wrong path and I was supposed to, ooh. Jesus Christ, you hear that voice? So, no, I'm supposed to be here. Sounds like a chirping bird monster. Where is it? Go see what it is and use your star spin on it. Something is lurking around. Go see who it is. All right. Listen for it. You'll hear it in an occurrence. Okay, so listen carefully. Listen carefully. Hear it? Hear that? Yep, hear that? You try, try and follow the sound, it gets louder the closer you are to it, and uh, you can sort of tell where it's coming from uh, via the stereo speakers, but since I'm talking and it's, it would be kind of difficult to hear without headphones, I'm kind of at a loss as to where it's chirping from, <laughs> obviously, so I'm just going to go behind all the buildings. Eventually, through trial and error, I will find it. That is my theory. Okay, I'm getting further away now. I th I'm not sure, but whenever you're looking for something in these sorts of mini games, I'm pretty sure that the thing moves. Like, maybe maybe it moves off screen. But anyway, okay, I'm, I must be way off because way I'm not hearing any chirping at all. Why did the chicken cross the road? Okay, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be like the squirts if I use that. Then again, I technically already did use it. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. It's another squirt. There actually is a fifth squirt. Hey, hey, hey. What's the big idea? A squirt can't practice his bird imitations in peace. I'm gonna be the funniest squirt ever. Just watch until I learn to ride five unicycles. Let's see. So... I guess he was maybe exiled, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, side quest complete. Ought to go. What was it? Was it a monster? What? Another squirt? So there are actually six squirts. 
Oh, alright. Hey, look at the scrap of paper I found. It's a map. I mean, it's from my map. And Secret 2 has been added to your map. Woohoo! Yeah, I thought at first I might have taken a wrong path, but then I was like, no, no, I, I'm pretty sure I took the right path because this was uh, a uh, side quest door, so. This had to have been the uh, side quest path of sorts. Mm, goodbye, Bunston. <laughs> If only I could take powers through doors, but then again, that would be that would probably be a little too broken. And you'd have to transform back to Starfy eventually to progress to the other areas anyway, so I guess maybe that's... Maybe it's not such a good idea after all, anyway. And Plunger Springo go! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.